Hello and welcome to ChiefTutor.com training videos in Chief Architect. Uh, I had a submission question come in and says how do I deal with the foundations of the garage using Chief Architect X2. So here I have a simple garage I've drawn up. In fact let's put in some garage doors. Put a couple in here. And so far right now obviously I don't have a foundation for this garage. I just have the garage itself. And so I'm going to go ahead and label it because I can see it's got wood floor so Chief still thinks it's a room like a bedroom or something. So I'm going to double click into here. I'm going to specify it a garage and click OK. OK, now the problem was, or the question was, is how to deal with this garage once you build the foundation. So let's do that next. So I'm going to go ahead and build the foundation. And I'm going to use their default walls with footings. 8 inch concrete. I'm going to leave everything the same and just click OK. Derive new foundation from the first floor plan. So it's going to take this plan and build the foundation. Click OK. Absolutely. And sure enough there it is. Now let's go ahead and take a look. Now if you look at the perspective floor overview what you'll get is just the foundation view which is kind of nice. And you'll notice it's been notched out for those garage doors. And it's set depth is lower than the finished floor of that garage. For some reason Chief generated it this way. Why did it generate it this way? Well that's to do with the settings when we generated the foundation. But I can double click into this room and I can see its specifications right here and how it was built. But the best way to deal with this is not to deal with this side. Uh, because if I try to manipulate it, say make A, the finished floor, zero, you type in zero and hit tab it does all kinds of funky things here and that's probably what you're experiencing I can even use the default and it sets it way down to you know 33 inches because uh, that's uh, the depth that we had set our original foundation to so I click OK it does all kinds of funny things and that's not the result I wanted so I'm gonna go up now to the first floor and I'm gonna take the perspective full overview which would show me the garage and the foundation and I can see it all happening there. If I want to manipulate this foundation and make it correct, just like with Chief Architect when you're dealing with floor heights, you have to go to the floor above. So here's the zero floor or the foundation floor and then there's the first floor. So if I want to affect the zero I will have to use or affect the first floor. And by doing that I simply just double click into the garage and here it shows me the foundation and the first floor that I'm on. Now I'm just going to hit default because the default will build everything correctly to where I need except for it's not building uh, F correct. See how the F is too low. Obviously I want the floor to fit. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to say I want this man nah, just say one inch or heck you know what let's just go zero and we'll see now my floor is built correctly and framed correctly down to my concrete floor. I can even say now in D doesn't need to be so thick. I can make this more like 8 inches. So it shows a proper foundation and footing for what I'm going to do. Then I click OK, take my full overview, and it solved the problem. Now sometimes it doesn't generate the garage doors in the correct place. So you just have to simply lift them up and slam them down onto your floor again. And this will correct the problem inside and out for Chief. And let's go ahead and use the eraser tool and look inside. And we can see that everything's set now perfectly for the garage floor. So again, when you're affecting any foundation plan, affect it from the floor above. That's the proper way of doing it. I hope you learned something new, and I'll be back for more.